already did a video on the uh, DJI Power Bank 1000 Echo Flow. I believe it's 1000 V2, and then the Jackery 1000. Those are like the little battery generators. This is what you have to do basically if you wanted to get the same thing. This is going to go in my motor room. So I got my house batteries. Really only needed one. But they're lithium, so I'm going to put them on solar panels on the roof. And then the 24 volt. Now, when you go on, and this is parallel, so this four batteries would be parallel, comes out 12 volts, no matter what. And you know, you have three 12s or four 12s, it still comes up 12 volt on parallel. So that goes in the back of the inverter. Which in the front creates electricity. Now, if I unplug that, it would automatically go from like in milliseconds. But the power is going through there now. Well, that's what that little box is being charged. And then I'll probably put the light on too. But as soon as it's lost power or I unplugged it, those were milliseconds would trip on and automatically turn on that light or turn on whatever, your fridge or whatever, instantly. There's a remote thing here too, I can put a remote on it. I really don't see a use for that, even the motor room. But, so I got four 12s, lithium still equals 12, because that's all that can go in the back of this. So, the inverter does have two sections where I can put another plus and another minus so I could take a 12 volt here 12 volt down there or again two 12s in parallel would be 12 which pairs so that's going to give me longer uh, one time if we should lose power having no more batteries you want it in parallel so it remains no matter how you put this 12 volts and they got to stay four 12s. So that big one right there is, is a 24 volt lithium battery. You can't put that in place of these two 12s along with two 12s. So if I took these out, put that 12, 24 in there along with these, the 24 would take all the charge. There's a good chance it'll never reach the two 12s. So like right now, this inverter is charging those at the same time. So right now, this on, it's charging these lithium batteries. It's probably not the best thing because this is an old inverter, and it's probably not going to charge lithium as well as probably the newer ones. But you can't beat the 5,000 watt. And with a surge protector and a charger built in, I'll probably end up powering off the 12 um, lithium battery charger but like I said you can't do it's got to be the 12 12 12 12 or just 12 12 it can't be 24 12 12 because you're going to screw that up when it comes to charging them you're end up in the end you're going to ruin your batteries I mean it'll take a while but you'll do it now if I wanted to charge these using this this is a 24 volt um, no, this is only a 12, 12 volt controller. So that would plug into this, and then these would go on the plus and minus of the batteries. And then with the sun, I'd be charging these. That's if I didn't have 110 to add to that inverter. Now on the MPPTs, these are actually better solar controllers. And it'll go 12, 24, 48, um, and then I automatically adjust for when it's doing it, and it'll read.
I don't have it connected right, so I apologize for that. So it's 26, almost 27 volts on this thing for the 24 volt. And then, like I said, you can scroll through it. And then there's a temperature and then there's also a um, thing in there for um, lithium gel different batteries battery types this one does it all plus it does from 12 to 48 I believe um, where most of these controllers like this little one over here is only 12 so it wouldn't work for this big 24 volt battery So you can see how big and messy this is compared to the Jerry box or the DJI or the EcoFlow. So you got this little portable thing here you just take with you or you got to do this <laughs> a little bit more messier. So let's see if this, see if this is a good test. I got a, one of those sunlights for winter time. But it's coming off the power of this inverter because it's plugged in. That's being charged. It's all backup is the batteries. They're not doing anything but being charged right now. Everything's going through the wall. 110 in, 110 out by no help of the batteries. The only thing the batteries are doing now is being charged. So when I unplug this, switch I'm gonna have to try to pull this plug all right see if I can do it and everything should instantly stay on might flicker yeah didn't even do anything so I pulled the plug out everything stayed on see it didn't even the light didn't even flicker that's still charging this is a little Timu, I got it from Timu. Take around, like maybe to um, charge your phone, charge a couple of my drones. Got a light socket, cigarette lighter socket. Uh, but everything stayed on. See how that worked? So right now it's running off the batteries. All you gotta do is, if you didn't want it on, you just flip the switch and everything goes off. So now nothing. I disconnected everything. All right, turn it back on. So right now it's going through the 12 volt. I got plugged in. Little light should come on, and it didn't come out. So, why is it not getting 110? There it is. Well, I pulled the cord from the wall out, and like I said, I should have had an on off switch. I uh, have it temporarily put into that underneath that little orange and black battery backup thing I just have the wires t tied in there with taped but one of them came loose when I pulled that plug but that's 110 and the 12 volt batteries so it's about 13 5 110 120 and then I'm not gonna leave this on all night but the uh, orange and black thing right there is being charged so I'm leaving that plugged in over the night. These lithium batteries like you get in a Ryobi or today's battery operated weed whackers etc. That's all this thing is. This is inside there's a bunch of 
lithium batteries and they're all rechargeable so with this package it would be too complicated to replace all the batteries as you can see everything's soldered on here it'd be a pain to pull them out but that's all it is is batteries inside there lithium so you got a bunch of lithium batteries making up this pack and then this is what you would be sliding into your charger batteries go inside there there's the top the bottom goes on slides on so you see the one of those metal things will slide into your charger to charge over there. And if you notice there is a plus and minus on those so if you really had to put something on here yourself to cover off put your own chargers on here this probably could bring these back to life uh, it didn't work for me so it doesn't always work you hear it see that on the internet so and then same thing with your DGI lithium battery except they the drone batteries are more like sandwiched in flat pieces of uh, layered in between the two so if you pull this apart it would be like almost like pieces of uh, lead inside here flat pieces not like the Ryobi thing where it's got actual batteries so this thing was dead I took it apart same thing you got your chargers up here they go into the charge controller plus and minus put a charger on there brought this thing back to life so just put it back together. And you can see on this one, lights light up, telling you fully charged with the four lights. So I brought this one back to life, and now I have an extra battery pack for my drones. So that's back together. I glue it. Lights up. Charge. You just put some glue on the side and it'll be good as new. Now if you did these in series, add those up, it would add up 20, 20, 12, 24, 36, 48, and that would be 48 volts. And you still can't combine it with a 24 volt.